All right. Uh, welcome back, everyone that stuck around. That was uh, quite the match we just saw. Um, here we are back to your regularly scheduled programming with uh, I Spy Invitational. Uh, I'm joined in the commentary booth by Emily again. Hello, hello, hello. And this time, uh, our first contestant is going to be 21 Mustard here. Yeah. And uh, we have Impulse Fun on the right. What's up, everyone? What's up, what's up? Okay, this first seed is going to be your non-village seed. You know the drill. So with that, you can get started in three, two, one, go. And we're off here. Let's start the timer. Perfect. So, uh, yeah, first match, Mustard versus Impulse. This is their non-village seed. This is um, kind of a fun one. Uh, don't tell them, but the, the next seed is a bit easier. This one's uh, a little bit tricky. Um, so this one has a couple options. There's buried treasure, of course. There's uh, a ruined portal that's close by that's okay. Uh, there's a shipwreck that's okay, but there is a secret hidden gem. There is a ruined portal past a specific shipwreck that has 12 gold carrots and gold armor and everything you could ever dream of. Pretty much just... Oh. 12 gold oh carrots, God. but um, yeah, still a lot. Oh, it's a monument. It is a monument. Is it supposed? It's not a monument. No, seat, it's not though. a it's monument. See, no. Oh, that's a lot of iron next to that monument, though. I didn't check that one out. I believe the that... ruined portal is towards the monument as well. And yeah, we have a, a treasure bastion. The nether is a bit tricky. Parts of it are kind of encased in netherrack. Parts of it are a little more open. So there are definite paths anywhere you spawn um, off of spawn to get to this treasure bastion and then to get to this fortress. But it is going to take a bit of time. So routing in the overworld to get the right amount of stuff and routing in the nether is going to be pretty substantial, this one. Okay, we're seeing we're seeing the piglin summons here from Mustard. I have to say I've, I've seen a lot of different methods of summoning piglins now. And I do have my own secret methods that I use to check seeds secret that are very efficient. All right, and we're off. Match number one, impulse is a little bit delayed. Wait, impulse is low render distance. Oh, oh boy. Are they oh, actually- wait, I think they're just going for the shipwreck that's right nestled next to the monument. Honestly, if you're already here though, I was gonna say, might as well just loot the monument. Yeah. Like, but he didn't check the monument. Like, he didn't check where um, the room would be. So, and I think the other issue is, is uh, they picked a magma or a ravine that was right next to it as well. I don't have to like root root around for it. They might as well just use the monument. Oh, but there is the twelve gold carrots. Muster did oh. find it. Muster did find it. Ooh. So He's gaming. Yeah, it's gonna be big chilling on food. There's so oh my many god, mobs. that's a lot of mobs. <laughs> oh my god. He just Please. went right into him, Impulse. No. No, Impulse. What? Oh. Uh, uh, impulse taking an early death, which is not nearly as bad he... as a late death. No. Yeah, Feels so good. Impulse entering another and shortly getting completely bombarded by piglins. There is a crimson, I guess. It was a crimson, yeah. I didn't even register that when Lester was going through it. Imagine if Impulse had just mined those eight gold blocks right next to that ship. Yeah. Could have just traded right? with those four and gotten your trades. Wow. Yeah, honestly. Wow, taking it almost. Oh, no. We do see Mustard here leaving his bastion. Onto Fortress. And uh, snack on a lot of those golden carrots. Golden carrots and ender pearls, an incredible combo. You can yeet ender pearls around all day and heal back very efficiently with golden Ooh, Impulse or uh, Mustard making his way to this fortress. A little awkward bit of travel, a little far, but still getting in around eight minutes. Um, plenty of food. Looks pretty solid. Mustard making his way to the nether exit location. Looks a little bit gross, but not too far. Maybe five blocks into this wall. And not going to be a sub 10. Leaving around 11 minutes. Still very respectable. Has plenty of time to This was a hard fight. seed. Yeah, it was too. tough. We just all kind of take everything in Minecraft. Oh, by the way, 21 mustard entering end at about 11 Let's and a half go. minutes. Let's go. Let's put, let's put 
uh, pig human hybrids yeah. in the nether <laughs> human hybrids that are obsessed with gold you know yeah obsidian but it's crying like obsidian is a real thing but then like, it's yeah, got we'll a perch just... already oh it's oh a nice god. East west perch for mustard it's a little bit awkward yeah he hadn't even like gotten to his spot yet oh and he missed oh, it man. tell me oh. a bow and arrow oh oh it's at least it like instant unperched. Okay, that's mm -hmm. the start. So having to slow down for hoglins and food and stuff. Definitely a struggle for sure. <laughs> Must start doing a little smile there. So north south ground is uh, you know you want to stay far away to increase your chances of perch, but if the dragon strafes you, you need to go close. We see a oh, second a perch, perch for mustard with only four explosions this time. First one's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Second one definitely good enough to do this here. Wow. wow, and he's done it. A three wow. plus one. Okay. That was clean. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Mustard taking first seed over impulse here. We're on to seed number two. Um yeah, they've been they've been prepped on this one. This is their village seed. And if you guys are ready, we will start in three, two, one, go. Good luck. <laughs> All right, we see the runners taken off. This seed is epic. I have it written down as a sub-tenable seed. This is a nice village. There's not too much around, but there's a secret to this one. Underneath the village, there is a dungeon with four iron. Um, you, you, you immediately, if you enter from right beneath the dungeon, you spawn on a blaze spawner. That's crazy. This nether is a little bit tough but you do spawn very, very close to a fortress, uh, to a blaze spawner. So you can very easily do fortress first and then try to traverse this gross nether to this bastion. We have a nice housing here. Um, I didn't register it the first time they were in it, but mm -hmm. it's like nice, three. easy housing. Well, runners have about two, two and a half minutes left. Oh. Um, checking that travel. That might be a little monka travel there. Nether exit. It looks like we're going to start seeing them enter the run portion. All um, right. Impulse is a little behind. Yeah. There we go. Impulse has uh, some stream delay for me. But Mustard will start off getting some hay. Um, we did see the uh, buried treasure, right? Was that, I don't remember how close exactly that was, but that did have more diamonds in it. Yeah, it's a, it's a bit far. I wonder if any of them go for that, because you can get... Uh, yeah, I don't know. It, it looked like Mustard was scouting out a little ravine just under a lake, just to the right of the village. That's true. That's true. I don't know. I just thought them check it, but they might have decided that's not worth the time. Yep, there we go. Mustard finding this quick entrance to this cave. Oh, it's a lot of creepers. Oh, wow, totally fine. That's Not even cool. phased. Okay, yeah. Impulse going for the bear treasure. Getting some good blocks and wood for free. For free? Absolutely. No free. way. <laughs> Man, imagine. Free blocks using TNT. Ugh. Are you tired of running out of blocks? Do you need a lot of wood to trade with villagers? <gasps> Have I got the deal for you? <laughs> What is Mustard doing? I'm... I actually have no clue. It's kind of... It feels like an impromptu portal. Okay. Mustard making one of the most awkward portals I've ever seen. Uh-huh. 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 Okay. Yep. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. Yep. okay. Go there and then, okay, it's done. Easy. There you go. Easy. And we're actually going to see the runners entering at relatively the same time. Um, although, technically, Impulse is a little bit ahead. Um, yeah, even not, not even getting that dungeon snipe, going for the much further buried treasure. Both runners still around the four and a half minute mark. Still right at this mm -hmm. place spawner. I think Impulse is out first. Um, it's cool to see Impulse leaving here first. Uh, Always exciting to have a potential tiebreaker if things go smoothly. Because the tiebreaker seats are always very spicy. 
Mm, oh, so and Master took a death. Oh no. Oh no. Well, all the stuff is probably going to be there. He's just going to go straight back. Um, oh no. Oh, he blocked it off with stone. <laughs> I no. I always get tools. I always take the one minute to get tools and a little bit of food before going in. It's too easy to just run into stuff like this and have way too much time loss. Oh. Uh, both of these runners are 0-1, so one of them will have to be 0-2 after this. And depending on which way it goes, uh, they may not be able to come back. So, uh, so yeah, of the of the four people in the group, oh yeah, impulse we see building is another exit here. I'd imagine he's on surface and needs to dig down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which is fine. Got to dig down either in the nether or the yeah, other. exactly so there. where to dig down. Uh, and the winner of nice. that will go on to the bracket. So at the end of it, we'll have a 16-player um, double oh. elimination. Oh. oh, the skeletons. Oh, oh no! Run it, Pulse, that run. That mine shaft is not fun. Oh my god, the creeper. Impulse, collecting himself. Tactical nope. reposition. It's not running away. It's a tactical reposition. All right. Impulse getting an end uh, substantially before mustard here. Again, impulse is about 10 seconds uh, behind. So on stream delay. Not taking bow and arrow. Breaks my heart every time, but we'll see. We'll see if they get the lucky perch. Oh, uh, no. He has a crossbow and 10 oh. arrows. Oh. Okay. So your heart is not broken. He's ready. Yeah, not getting a strafe, getting a lucky insta perch. There we go. Nice. All right, five beds. Let's go. Clean Super first. Solid. Dragon rotates and turns, but solid damage. Well done. Easy. Oh my goodness. Well done from Impulse. Tying it up. You know what that means. We're going to. Oh, tiebreaker seed. Let's go. Tiebreaker seed. Welcome back, everyone, to uh, C3 of Mustard versus Impulse. Uh, this is going to be a fun one. This is a wild card seed. They're already so excited seeing the thumbnail to this one. <laughs> yeah, dude. Uh, all right. If you guys are ready, we will start in three, two, one, go. Good luck. All right. Mm -hmm. It is a jungle spawn, but it's a trick. I've tricked you once again. There's actually no jungle temple. The jungle's irrelevant. There's a ruined portal and a village and a lava pool. It's actually a good seed. Wow, I'm, oh. <laughs> I'm tricked again, dude. Every You're time. So I'm out mind gaming everyone every time. They thought it was trash. Turns out this is a sub 10 seed. Wow. Is that. it actually? Yeah, there's no jungle temple. They just spawn in a jungle. The rest of the seed is just good. Um, That's there's pretty... very low food. I mean... So that is going to be tricky. The village does not have very much food at all. I think there's one hay bale and a couple animals. Or two hay bales. Well, two hay bales? Animals. No. More than enough? They I mean, just get, get melons from the jungle. Easy collab. Uh, so there's there's a couple different routes to go on this one. That rune portal, I believe, has three iron in it and a light. And you could golem. Not much food again, so you might have to get some maybe dandelions in the jungle or... or Kill some animals or something like that. Gold pick is really nice though to accelerate things. Gold armor as well. There's a lava pool past this village that impulse might mm -hmm. run into, so you could always go to a surface lava pool. And there's a uh, flint right next to you if you need that. Do you see ocean exposed here on uh, mustard stream? Mm -hmm. Kind of cool. Kind of quirky. Always like the ocean exposed because then you don't have to worry about the Y level of your exit portal and. But Salt Deltas are notorious for being garbage at trying to get to a low Y level. So you could just kind of approximate it. Um, yeah, no, it looks like Mustard is going to go to just making his tools. Good for not not going to make the pick, though. Probably going to use it to dig down. Don't blame him. Yes, um, Mustard getting those, <laughs> those two A-bales and that one sheep. Oh, Impulse actually yep. passing by some pigs, too. There's some pigs there. That's not bad food, nice. honestly. Two hay bales. Three pigs? That's easy. Uh, not that, what did Mustard like forget that? gravel? Oh, was there no oh, light dude. in the portal? Oh. There's no light in the portal. Yeah. 
But thankfully, there is gravel in the cave. It, the sheep cannot get there to that water spot, and Mustard will enter another first. And yeah, Impulse having to go real far for this. So Impulse going to the village first, and then to the room portal, and then to get gravel, and then back to the village to kill the golem, and then over this lava pool, taking kind of a, a lot of different directions. And Mustard already mining gold, trading at this housing at uh, four and a half minutes in. Top down, love to see it, love to see it. Mm -hmm. Mustard, leaving with plenty of stuff, it looks like. 33 obsidian. Nice. That's just your building block. Oh, did I miss a pearl hang? Why is this, why is this five render distance? Did I miss a pearl hang, chat? Is it pearl hang time? It is, nice. I mean, there could be lava in the basalt above him, to be fair. He could have scouted it. It's not a great idea to blaze bed in a basalt, but, you know, when you're in a tournament, I would have scouted it. I would have blaze bed it. I, I take the risk, blaze bed anyways. Scout it or not. Fifth blaze rod? Oh, Sixth blaze six rod? Blaze Don't you guys ever tell me the blaze rod rates suck in every seed. That was like six for seven, dude. That was clean. Oh, if Mustard is close, okay. He ups his render distance oh, back to the crawling location. How close is Mustard to this nether travel? No kidding. We're just line of sight. What is he no. doing? Hide, dude. You don't fight gas that are 100 blocks away. You hide or you lower your render distance. You don't punch those back. True. <gasps> oh, no. He's, he's, got got go go he's got 33 obsidian. He'll be a little bit off. Oh my oh, god. So oh no. <laughs> he was so god. Where is he going to end up? Like... Oh, does he know where oh. he is? Oh, Impulse has the same good blaze rod traps. I don't think Impulse did pearl hang, though. Mustard should have this. Impulse didn't, but. Bed. He doesn't know where he is. Hmm. Oh, it is starter. starter. Okay. So you can just do regular stronghold nav. You have to write down your portal room cords in a scout and run tournament. You have to. You already checked That's... that way, Mustard. He's panicking. He's panicking, Mustard. There's only one way to go, please. <laughs> please. Oh my god. Go, Mustard. Go. Time this is running is... out. This is um. That's too far. Impulse is chance. Too far. There's a creeper there, dude. Run. Oh god, this has suddenly become so much more stressful. The scripts. What have you guys oh, done to these food. poor runners? He's taking so much damage now, he needs extra food. Oh, That's so God. funny. The one obby on the portal is actually, actually hilarious. Hunger reset and all like this. Yeah, chat, his chat pointing out, he could definitely hunger reset, but this uh, point. he can't read his chat so he doesn't know what he takes a dead. No. No. Oh, no. 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 He was on sub 10 pace. Oh, no. Oh, Impulse entering now with a huge lead. Only needs to finish the game in eight minutes. Oh, okay, Mustard's, okay. or Impulse has found it. Impulse has found it. Crossbow and Arrow gonna give you a very reliable two to two and a half minute end fight, but Impulse getting about a two minute Dragon Purge. Let's see. First bed oh. looks good. A little panicked, but those look like great bed hits. Four beds, not gonna be quite enough. Oh, blows up the anchor on top and gets it. What was that? Yo, was didn't that even set up for actual anchor. Cycle. Yo. Impromptu. Pretty crack. Wow, nice. 